Thanks, Mike. There is a big debate right now over whether the city of Saskatoon should go ahead with a new wind turbine in the city's landfill. Thoroughly engaged in that debate is Chris Fosner with the Saskatoon Wind Turbine Coalition joining me this morning. Chris, thank you very much for coming in. Good morning. Uh, so what are the issues that you, uh, you see with this wind turbine that's being proposed for the landfill? Well, there's three main concerns. Uh, the first is health. We don't think enough research has been done in that area. Uh, financial, we see a bunch of holes in the, the financial analysis that was done. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, public awareness. We don't think the city's really engaged the city properly. Okay, so let's start with the health concerns. Uh, there are some health concerns, but the jury is still out on the science over what impact that it could have on people's health. Right. Uh, the first thing to clarify is that uh, when we come to health, a lot of people um, refer to noise as what you hear. And there, there is an audible noise, but we're not really concerned about that. What we're concerned about is the low frequency noise. And you're right, there are probably just as many doctors saying that there, there are issues as they're saying that there are not issues. Mm -hmm. And what we're saying is that, you know, if there, if there are issues at all, we should be looking into it. And other places in Canada and the world are doing that. Mm -hmm. So it, it remains to be seen then if there are any serious issues or not. It, it could be nothing at all. Uh, that's a possibility, but um, there, there's enough documentation out there that people are seriously impacted, and there are cases where large uh, wind energy companies have purchased people's homes from them in settlement. So that's a strong indicator. Another concern is that uh, maybe it's not, uh, the coalition says, as economically feasible as the project could be. It's green, but it's not, taxpayers aren't getting the bang for their buck. That's correct. The location is designated as a two on a scale of one to seven, so it's not an ideal location. And even Kevin Hudson, the city of Saskatoon, said that the financials are tight on this project. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is getting funding, though, from senior levels of governments. It's getting about $2.3 million, so the $5 million project comes from senior levels of governments. So taxpayers in Saskatoon are really on, only on the hook for about half of the project. That's true, and uh, we are pro-green, and that is a great opportunity, but we want to make sure the city's not putting money in front of the uh, welfare of the citizens of Saskatoon and they're properly thinking it through. Mm -hmm. We don't think that it's this, uh, you know, we don't think it's a smart solution right now. Okay, you've got an open house coming up uh, tomorrow night, so what can people expect from that? Well, we have a guest speaker, Carmen Crow from the Society of Wind Vigilance, and she'll be speaking at Montgomery School at 7.30 p.m. on the 7th, Any which is city? tomorrow. Any city councillors coming out for that? or? They, they can't, unfortunately. The, the, it's in budget season. They've all been invited, uh, as well as Saskatoon Leighton Power mm -hmm. and the mayor. But we've been told that there's a budget uh, the next couple of nights, so they probably won't be able to be there. All right, Chris, thanks very much for coming in, and thanks for doing this. All right, thanks.